Hello and greetings from Austria. My name is Robert Höck and today it's all about the best chicken breeds for the self-sufficient living. If you are a novice and want to start with chicken breeding, maybe the calm breed on my arm and on my lap is perfect. It's the Swedish flower chicken and I want to start my showdown with this beautiful breed from Sweden. Without doubt, the Swedish flower chicken is among the most colorful chicken breeds worldwide. There are so many different varieties of plumage color patterns found in these chickens, so you will never be able to keep them all on your own farm. But what is also very good in the Swedish flowers is that they are very healthy, cold tolerant and robust. Even the young chicks are surprisingly resistant and that may be important if you are farming on a cooler, harsh climate. <laughs> Roosters of this breed are said to be very friendly, so it's possible to keep a few of them together in many cases. I actually have two hands of this breed, which are a Brock's three months old. It's always fun to spend time with them and teaching them little stunts and tricks is easy. Jersey Giants are among the largest chicken breeds, as the name implies. And the name also tells us that they are an American breed, developed in the US state of New Jersey in the 19th century. In its early days the large breed was thought to be a good replacement for turkeys in the commercial meat production. But it turned out that Jersey Giants are very slow to mature, so that's the reason why they never get excessively popular. In our days Jersey Giants are impressive dual purpose chickens for a bigger farmyard and are good layers of brown eggs. Most times you will see the black variety, but my favorite is the grayish blue one. The cream leg bear is a rare British breed known for being a great layer of bluish green eggs. The name was built up with the two names of its most important ancestors, the Leghorn and the Barrett Plymouth Rock Chicken. A third ancestor was the Araucana Chicken, which has given its genes for green eggs to the leg bar. Cream leg bears are an autosexing breed, which means you can distinguish young roosters and hens from the first day on. Males are much paler and do not show so much brown shades in their coloring. Now here you can see my place number 17, the Sancha Clone Crower Chicken from Serbia. Sancha Clone Crower Chickens are the daughters of all long growing breeds. The roosters can reach sizes close to those of the Jersey Giants. Sancha Clone Crowers can occur in many different colors and they are also stunners because of their crest of feathers on the head. But what is definitely the highlight in this breed is the crowing of the roosters. This breed has so many unusual features, so it may surprise you a little bit if I tell you that the Sancha clone growers are also very good egg layers. The young chicks are fast growing, but they need much time till they are full grown. That's because of the enormous size. Some roosters are absolutely amazing, such as this white one. I actually do have two Sancha cans in my backyard and they are wonderful birds calm and always friendly. <laughs> the 
The colorful roosters of the brown leghorn chicken do represent the perfect rooster from the old days, and they are often shown in books for children about farm animals. The brown leghorn is the oldest of all breeds included in the big leghorn family. It's a wonderful egg layer of white eggs. The hens are said to never go broody, but that isn't that much a surprise in the case of breeds which are very good egg layers. The plumage colors of the brown leghorn chickens are very close to those of the wild jungle fowl, in which is in the case of the red jungle fowl the ancestor of our modern chicken breeds. The Malinas chicken from Belgium is definitely one of the heaviest European chicken breeds. It's also known as Cuckoo de Malinas because of its attractive plumage with the black and white cuckoo pattern. There was also a wide variety of the Malinas existing for a long time, but you will hardly find it in our days. Malinas are good for both meat and egg productions. Even the half grown Malinas chicks are very heavy looking and friendly calm birds. The Orpington chicken has its name from the English town of Orpington, where its early history once began. Orpingtons still look larger than they really are, because of their very full plumage. Together with their short legs, it gives them a cube-like shape. A hundred years ago, Orpingtons were among the best egg layers of all chicken breeds, but now some strains are only moderate egg layers. That's because some breeders did only focus their show bird qualities. The Orpington is one of the most important ancestors of the Jersey Giant chicken. You remember that was place number 19. A breed for every need is the Bielefelder chicken from Germany. Bielefelders are among the best dual purpose chicken breeds and are very popular in many countries of the world. Their eggs are brown and often freckled with a darker shade of brown, which looks very attractive. Bielefelders are always seen in a partridge cuckoo pattern and this bluish color is always out to sexing. There is also a wonderful bantam variety of the Bielefelder chicken existing. The Vorwerk was created 100 years ago by the German farmer Oskar Vorwerk and so it's clear where it did get its name from. Vorwerks do show a very unusual black and golden plumage coloring. It always reminds me a bit of an intensified black Colombian pattern found in some other chicken breeds. Vorwerk hens are good egg layers, the roosters are said to be very tolerant amongst other roosters, if there is enough space. Fowerks are excellent flyers but are not shy against humans. The most important ancestor is the Lakenfelder chicken, which looks very familiar but does have a white center. One of the best European table foals is definitely the Feveroli chicken from France. Feverollis are named after their hometown and are known there for 200 years. They are calm and can become reasonable tame. The most common color of this breed is salmon. Do not keep Feverollis in a run which is too small, because otherwise they will turn to fat in a short time. There is a sweet bantam variety of this breed existing, which also has good utility properties for such a small bird.
Orlovs, most times seen in their red porcelain variety, are a rare breed from Russia and do look a little bit like a northern version of the well-known Malai chicken. Malais are game foes. They are known as a very hard and strong breed which is perfect for cooler climate and their rich feathers and bearded heads makes the Orlovs a perfect breed for the self-sufficient. The hands of this breed are fabulous egg layers in winter time and the eggs can vary a lot in their size and coloring. If you are searching for a chicken breed which does lay eggs in unusual colors, the Araucana will always be a good choice for you. The bluish eggs of this breed are eye catchers and very popular. Another name for the Araucana chicken is South American Rumpless chicken because these chickens do have a lack of tail. These young Araucana chicks do look absolutely sweet with their striped backs. The best dual purpose breed from my home country Austria is the Sulmdaler. Back in the day Sulmdalers have been well known because of their outstanding quality of meat. In our days they are good egg layers as well because some breeders in Germany selected strains with good egg laying properties. They can lay more than 200 creamish eggs per year and will reach this number also in the third year of their life. Unlike most other chicken breeds which are good egg layers Sulm Dallas are excellent mother hands. Why and dots are well known in many countries of the world for having good utility properties and also for their huge diversity of plumage colors. The most popular ones are for sure the laced ones the silver laced one and the golden laced wine dot. This breed is very cold tolerant because of its rose comb and the full fluffy feathering. Eggs can vary a lot in size and color. Wine dots are known for being among the best mothers in the world of chickens. Here you can see Bantam wine dot mother hens of the black Colombian variety. At the first sight, the Moran's chicken may not be something very special, with its unremarkable black plumage and its average body shape. But if you take a look to the eggs of this French breed, you may fall in love with these chickens. Their eggs are of a wonderful deep brownish red color, absolutely outstanding. And so here they are. What an amazing chicken breed for sure. It's easy to diminish the utility property of the Morans to the egg production, but as a heavy breed they are also good table foes. Let's come to the top 5 now. And they are starting with another excellent dual purpose chicken breed from France. The Brasculaise is said to be the best stable foal found in Western Europe. The breed is very fast growing and can be distinguished from other chicken breeds which are white by its blue legs. It's not allowed to breed these chickens outside their home country or their home area and so breeders have created a lot of strains and varieties crossbreedings from the Brasculés. The most popular in our days is possibly the Le Bleu. <laughs> if 
your farmyard or your backyard isn't really big enough for keeping a flock of a bigger chicken breed, it would maybe be a good idea to look forward for a small bantam chicken. The Barsama bantam is one of the best egg laying chickens because it lays extremely large eggs for such a small bird. The eggs are brown and are laid in good numbers so there would be no point in not putting Versama bantams in my top 5. Also the color patterns of this breed are absolutely beautiful, close to those of the wild red jungle fowl. The Sandheimer chicken is the oldest dual purpose chicken breed from Germany. It's definitely a heavy breed, always seen with the black Colombian patterns, which means there are black stripes on its neck and also some black feathers on the wings and at the tail. Unfortunately, Sandheimers are a rare breed now and close to extinction. Maybe that's because there are too many similarities with other more popular chicken breeds, such as the Sussex or the Brema. I would be very sad if it will ever get lost because these birds are trustful and friendly, from the beginning of their life song. The young chicks are fast growing and very healthy. Because of its feathered legs, the Sandheimer chicken needs a run, which isn't too full of mute and dirt. Keep it clean and you will have a wonderful chicken which is always looking very beautiful. <laughs> the New Hampshire is one of the most important chicken breeds worldwide and that's because it's one of the ancestors of the brown industry chickens. Indeed, they look very similar to the brown egg layers, but do have more beautiful color shades. Especially, the golden heckle feathers are shimmering in a wonderful golden color. There should be no need to say that the New Hampshire is an excellent egg layer, because otherwise it would not have been an ancestor of the Boer industry chickens. <laughs> The first place goes to a member of the big leghorn family, the exchequer leghorn. Exchequer leghorns are amazing birds, looking a little bit like a federate checkerboard with two legs. Maybe that's where they get their name from. As it is the case with most members of the leghorn family, hens and roosters do have enormous red combs, which are also eye catchers. But why did I put these birds on my number one? because they are reliable egg layers, laying nearly as much eggs as the famous white leghorns, but are much stronger and healthier than those. Breeders also say that the exchequer hens are still laying a good number of eggs in their third year of their life. What an amazing chicken and my king of all the self-sufficient poultry. What is very unusual for the exchequer leghorn is the fact that in this case the white pattern should outweigh the black one. Other buyer chicken breeds should have more black than white. Thank you for watching this and all the best wishes for you and your poetry. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay.